Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at simplifying uh, algebraic expressions, but these expressions have decimals and fractions, so we got to review our operations with decimals and fractions. So this is a question that I'm taking from CPM, and it is course two, and this is section 7.1.2. Uh, specifically number 7-23. So it says simplify each expression. So here's my first expression. So first of all, I need to identify my like terms, right? So my like terms in this case would be this one half X and the other one is a positive three fifths X. So those are two like terms. So I'm going to want to combine those. So I'm going to be adding those. Those are my um, variable terms. And then there's my constants. It's a positive seven twelfths and in with that minus in front makes it a negative or minus two thirds. So my operations are for the for the variable terms are going to be taking and figuring out what one half plus three fifths is, right? So I'm going to take one half plus three fifths. <clears throat> and that's going to be my X, whatever the, the coefficient in front of the X. So I've just got to add those up and that'll be my coefficient of the X. So one half and three fifths. I need a common denominator in order to add fractions. And my denominator will be a 10 in tenths, right? So I can take one half and make it five tenths, three fifths as far as tenths or six tenths, right? So I mul multiply top and bottom by two to get this six tenths. So now I have five, five tenths plus six tenths. So that's 11 tenths X. So my new coefficient is just 11 tenths for that X. For the constant, so I'm taking the 7 twelfths, right, my 7 twelfths, and I'm going to be subtracting 2 thirds. So I need it in as, as a common denominator as well in order to do the subtraction. So I can use twelfths. 7 twelfths won't change, but I need to change the 2 thirds to be twelfths. And I can do that by multiplying by the giant one of 4 over 4, right? If I multiply top and bottom by 4, 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is eight. So I have seven twelfths minus eight twelfths. Well, seven minus eight is negative one twelfth, right? So I have, this is my uh, new expression, uh, 10, 11 tenths X plus negative one twelfth. Or we could change that just all to be a minus and that would be also correct. Okay. There we go. There's that one. This one is in decimals. So same situation. Look for my X terms. That's a negative, right? Pay attention to the sign in front. Negative 2.8X and a positive 3.9X. So when you have a negative number and a positive number, you subtract them. So I'm just going to take the 3.9 minus the 2.8. When you're subtracting decimals, you line up the decimal point and make sure the larger number is on top. The larger absolute value in this case is the 3.9 and i'm subtracting uh 3.9 minus 2.8 so i get 1.1 when i subtract so that and there's more net more positives than there are negatives so it's a positive 1.1 1. 1. 1, so it's 1.1 x and then my constants i have a uh, 5.3 and then pay attention to the signs, a negative 7.1. So again, positive to negatives, I'm going to subtract, but I'm going to put the larger, the absolute value of the larger number up top, right? So there's more negatives. So I know my number is going to be negative, but I still got to go 7.1 minus 5.3 when I find the difference of those two. When they're opposite signs, you find the difference. Okay, so it looks like I got to regroup. 8, bring down the decimal, 1, 1 1.8. And it's 1.8, but it's a negative 1.8, right? So I have plus negative 1.8 because there's more negatives than there are positives. So I can rewrite this 1.1x minus 1.8. And there's that simplified expression, okay? All right, there we go.